What's going on guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to set up the shopify settings for a brand new for a shopify account so pay attention kind of give you guys some free game in terms of how to do it and what to do so let's get into it all right so this is for a fresh shopify store we ended up doing the drop yesterday we did around 11 grand i think this is going to be like the fourth youtube video i'm making in terms of tutorials so i'm recording all this shit in the same day i'm recording around 20 hours of content so make sure y'all like comment sub go crazy i'm just gonna put out so much sauce because i don't need to sell a course i got a decent amount of clients i got a decent amount of stores myself i'm doing pretty decent so no my thing anyways on the bottom left what you want to do is click settings and then we'll jump into it all right cool once you're in the settings you want to start with policies right here at the bottom left so i click here so what i'll actually end up doing to bless you guys is i'll make a free resource for the policies so you have them copy paste all you got to do is go on the instagram reel i link in this youtube description comment policy on that reel and i'll just dm it to you i give out a lot of free resources so that should help out a little bit i'd say so anyways jumping into it right here we have the return and refund policy so i'm gonna give you guys some game on this now the biggest thing i put in is sale item are final i put a compare price on every single item so it looks like a sale item and it's final we, we don't do no refund so if any time a customer tweaks just be like hey man it's a sale item can't do no refund gang so that's how you kind of finesse it sizing issues we do not offer refunds or exchanges blah 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 for incorrect sizing some people are just bricked and they order the wrong size so fuck it they damage it you know damage items my bad I'm tweaking so if we send the damage item we'll do a refund but they have to do it within 48 hours a lot of people forget they don't give a fuck cool whatever return period you may return your item within 14 days of receiving it blah 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 not be accepted so that gives us a little bit of 14 days however the condition is unworn unwashed and in resellable condition tags and packaging must be intact shipping fees are non-refundable now this is a pretty cooked policy but however you want to use this policy when you're a beginning brand owner until you get to like even the 40 50k mark and your ltv is going up then you use a proper policy however this brand just did one drop right now we're not trying to get cooked so playing it safe essentially so that's the refund policy kind of save you some time you know and that little headache from people just tweaking yeah it's a cool refund policy for privacy automated shopify has automated one terms and service same thing you, you just want to insert the template and then shipping policy so these are the two you want to actually put in so return and shipping so let's say i click shipping right here shipping information please allow 7 to 14 business days business days that's the key word friday and saturday don't count gang so i'm saying you gotta wait so 7 to 14 business days delivery time three to five days if this buys you i'd say around like three to four weeks for shipping however try to ship it quicker we like to put that just to be safe in case something happens but just try to be quicker man like just stop fucking around stop blowing the money you make on random shit because a lot of beginners they'll get their first couple checks from shopify and just start splurging like degenerates don't do that bro you don't want to be that type of brand owner it's a business it's revenue coming in you have overhead costs bro this ain't profit so yeah use the shipping policy it'll be in the real you just claim the free resource but yeah cool let's move to the next part cool on to the next part domains what you want to do is click right here you'll be on the domain domain section now one of the biggest things i've seen is people have this base stop my shopify.com domain that kills your cvr make sure you actually buy a proper domain it's 10 bucks so in this case we just got srtboys.com fairly simple straight to the point no bullshit all right so the next step is markets so if you go on the shopify dashboard and you click markets right here this is game right here so pay attention when you make a new shopify account markets come deactivated in terms of international markets so you're not able to sell internationally at all it's something that a lot of people neglect and even with me when i was a noob i didn't even and fucking know about this i'm like shit why am i not getting international orders but by default it comes deactivated so you got to activate it so all you got to do is click create market so essentially i made the international market name it international and then if i just go right here load click edit and I, you just add everything in there essentially you want to make sure you add all the countries in there so boom. fairly simple nothing crazy now i'm gonna walk you guys through the actual shipping once international set up all right cool next step so once you're on uh, shopify settings again you want to go on shipping and delivery click that boom scroll down now as you guys can see for uh us i like to do free shipping i recommend anyone do free shipping it's worth it in terms of increasing cvr however if you do want to do paid shipping it might kill your conversions a little bit now one of the reasons why i like to use the base uh shipping rate is because i just go here leave it economy standard or express keeps it simple straight to the point easy checkout back in the day I, I used to do custom but i feel like custom doesn't convert as well as just the base one and then for international what you want to do is click edit zone and select all the countries because they won't be selected if you don't even have the international shipping zone all you got to do is click add shipping zone and boom that's it for this i like to essentially click add rate go on use carrier app to calculate rates once that loads you want to add most of the options it gives 
right now i already added these two options so i don't think it will give me that but it's fairly simple anyways boom there we go so click that click this select that boom done simple really not much to it good to go shipping set that was it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i'm essentially making a shit ton of tutorials tonight so you'll be seeing all these videos rolling out just wearing the same shit but just banging out all the videos get it all done with it at once anyways hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys like comment and sub and if you want any type of tutorial you want to learn anything just make sure to comment down i'll bless you up i don't sell a course for a reason at the end of the day this info product space is a little bit cooked when it comes to people selling courses so at the end of the day i want to build the trust first with people i've had so many people come to me even like with the videos i posted around a year ago they're like holy fuck ray i already made my first five figures six figures whatever it might be those old videos have changed a lot of people's lives even with the old shit i got a lot of game in there so make sure you sit down write it all down i learn a lot when i sit down i write on a notebook i have my notebook right here so every time i'm learning i'll just sit down and just start yapping on it go crazy so yeah make sure you just pay attention to these videos it'll help you get to your first five and even six figures and at the end of the day my goal is just to provide as much value as i can man so lock the fuck in guys change your fucking life